Living in Japan, I see plastic packaging everywhere, in konbini, supermarkets, and it is really incorporated into our everyday lives. According to the UN Environmental Program from 2018 on single-use plastics, Japan is the world's second largest plastic, weight, plastic packaging producer per capita, after the US and followed by the European Union. Single-use plastic waste is a major issue because plastics are not biodegradable, so they take a lot of time to decompose. Over time, they become microplastics and can harm our environment and our ecosystem. My name is Kei Jodai in 10th grade, and today I'm going to be talking about plastic usage in Japan. I'm not an expert or live a zero waste life, but I want to highlight some things that we should keep in mind when shaping our future. In Japan, unnecessary and excessive packaging is integrated into the culture. The appearance, sanitation, and quality of the product is highly valued, and, and proper packaging indicates a sign of respect for the person. These are some of the photos that I took when I went to the supermarket. And almost all the products, starting with vegetables, fruits, and snacks, etc., are all packaged in plastic waste. Do you think that individual packaging for this one lemon is necessary? Furthermore, in Japan, there is a heavy use of plastic bags. According to Gumi 100 2022, approximately 30.5 billion plastic bags are used each year in Japan. That's around 300 bags per citizen. Plastic bags are now being charged since the summer of 2020 to encourage citizens to bring their own reusable one. But if I'm being honest, I can't confidently say that I never buy plastic bags anymore because I don't have a reusable one with me all the time. I think that our individual actions and mindset is so important because if every single citizen in Japan says, oh, one plastic bag will make a difference or even one person will make a difference, when it really does, because that's one less plastic bag that could end up in the ocean and harm our environment. I almost always sort my trash into the designated trash cans, but I didn't know where it would end up or where it would go. So Japan's recycling rate is said to be 84%, according to Forbes Japan 2019. But that recycling rate implies three types of recycling. Material recycling, that converts trash into new materials, Chemical recycling that breaks waste down into molecules that need large-scale manufacturing. Therefore, it takes time and is expensive. And lastly, thermal recycling. Thermal recycling accounts for 56% out of the 84% recycling rate. Now, this statistic is misleading because the high heat burns all the various types of plastics, which means that sorting is not actually necessary. It is cheaper, easier, but really bad for environment because it causes CO2 emissions and pollutes the air. So if you ask me, I don't think that thermal recycling counts as recycling. Because even though individuals are responsible and sort of trash, Japan's waste management system is not able to handle it. And that is the reality of Japan's recycling. Now, despite these statistics, what are some solutions? Maintaining the functionality and quality and sanitation of food products that Japan highly values is important. But personally, I don't think that pre-packaged plastic on vegetables are necessary. And this would dramatically reduce the plastic waste in Japan. If companies only use the bare minimum, there wouldn't be any more multi unnecessary packaging. Filling stations for products like laundry detergent would be a good solution to eliminate the need for refilling products. If companies invest in dispensers that would be placed in supermarkets or somewhere that citizens have easy access to, then it would make the product cheaper as we would only be paying for the detergent and not the bottle itself. Some companies in Japan are making real efforts. For example, Chipstar. Its packaging is 100% paper, and the plastic is also recyclable, according to the Yamazaki Biscuit website 2023. In 2016, they got an award for universal design by adding cut lines to make it smaller when discarding. Compare Chipstar to American, similar American product, Pringles. It is, according to Everyday Recycler 2019, 
It is made out of cardboard, foil seal, has a metal base, and even a plastic lid, making it very difficult to recycle. By one company taking action, it can, it can lead to change in other products and encourage other companies to do the same. Japan has the highest vending machine density in the world, with around one vending machine per 23 people, according to the Vending Machine Manufacturers Association. This makes it very easy for citizens to buy pet bottles. Instead of buying pet bottles, if vending machines are replaced by drink dispensers in the city, it would allow citizens to just refill their own bottle. In Fukuoka City, they have already invested this by implementing free water stations in public areas. This, this allows for citizens with their own bottle to get free water, according to Mai Chi in 2022. If this is done on a larger, larger scale in the country, it would make such an impact by eliminating the need for pet bottles in Japan. Companies could still provide their product, but provide it for cheaper, so I see it as a win-win. And one thing that our community could do is to give pet bottle caps to JCB Japan. According to the Pet Bottle Cap Collection website in 27, from 2017, the pet bottle caps are turned into recycled pellets where it, the pellets are turned into products like furniture, containers, etc. And the money raised from the recycled pellets and the products are then, then can provide vaccines for children in other countries. The donation factory is only a 20-minute walk away from our school, so it is very accessible. I researched about this because I saw that pet bottle caps go in the normal trash, but I thought that there could be some way to repurpose them. This could be a short-term solution and make our community a more environmentally friendlier place. So I hope to implement this in the near future. To reduce plastic usage, instead of buying plastic bags, bringing your own reusable one, or having reusable water bottles are some small changes that can make a big difference. We could also write to the companies and raise awareness about single-use plastic. Manufacturers and big corporate companies need to take the most action because their impact is bigger and reaches a lot, of, a lot more people. Japan needs to increase their material recycling rates to allow for a sustainable waste management system. If companies change their packaging into something more eco-friendly by changing, changing the material or simply just using less of it, all the options would be environmentally friendlier from the start. If we all acknowledge the importance of managing plastic waste and take action, the long-term benefits will be worth it for the environment and for our future generations in Japan, not only in Japan, but for the world. Thank you.